Welcome back to Otaku no Video, as always, thank you very much for joining me, where today I'm talking about, and I'm going to review Battle Athletes Victory. Now, yes, I know you've never heard of it before. That's why I'm recording this review. Uh, I stumbled across it a long time ago. It was cheap. It looked cute. I thought, heck, I'll give it a try, and I was sucked in. I was, I was very impressed. So this is an anime, an anime uh, TV series released in 1997 in Japan and released over here on DVD not long after. It's based on a futuristic sort of Olympics-style game, competition game for, I think, the Sega Genesis, from what I found. Uh, basic premise is it's about a bunch of teen girls who are all competing for the Cosmo Beauty title in the far future, which instead of being purely a beauty contest, is mostly an athletics uh, uh, content. In fact, it really is an athletics contest. So uh, basically, just a whole bunch of girls all competing in this huge range of athletic events. Um, and the protagonist is this nervous and not very athletic daughter of the best Cosmo beauty ever, you know, highest scores ever. And so now she's entered and she has no self confidence. Um, and the series overall is aimed definitely at the otaku market. I mean, it's a bunch of pretty girls wearing swimsuits and leotards, you know, all the time. Um, however, the writers would, would go on to work on titles such as Read or Die, uh, Gundam 00, and Trigun. So, yeah, there's more to it here than just pretty faces. Now, the overall world is ridiculous, but consistent. I mean, it definitely takes advantage of the fact that it's set in the far future to have some technology that's a little silly, um, but always in support of the story. I mean, 90s anime often had this thing where they weren't afraid to be silly. Uh, if, it, if it worked for a joke or if it just, um, you know, if it just worked for the scene. And, um, but in this series, they remain very consistent to that. So it, it's very, very careful uh, in, in terms of the world. And it is a very unusual world. And more interestingly, you really only see these girls in the competition and the training facilities and so forth. You almost never venture outside of that world. So you don't really know what the rest of the world is like, which I actually kind of appreciate. That you know, this is the story, this is what we're talking about, so we're going to focus entirely on that. Um, and moreover, the story itself has basically zero fat. I mean... When it's trying to say something, it says it, and it 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 focuses on characters and you know, story elements come in, and it just moves uh, at a nice brisk pace. Moreover, it's almost entirely character driven. I mean, makes sense considering this kind of a competition, and so the competition can be silly at times, and some of the relationships can be a little over the top. But Battle Athletes Victory is about competition and sport. It's about striving for things against yourself and against other people and what that really means. So the series spends a lot of time focusing on these characters and showing you what they're like and, and what they're struggling with and why they're trying to compete and all, all those sorts of things. Um, which is, I think, one of the reasons that really sucked me in is that there is depth to this series. Uh, now, the animation helps a lot. Excellent animation, especially considering uh, uh, your TV uh, budgets at the time. A lot of frames of animation, and it just, it's pretty darn lush. Now, obviously, some episodes are better than others, but I, I, mean, I had no problems with it. It, was, it really, really looked good. Moreover, the characters stay mostly on model, although that starts to, to degrade in later episodes, but that's normal for uh, uh, shows of this, this time as well. The overall direction is Pretty basic, pretty middle of the road, not exciting, you know, eh, it, it, it's fine, but a lot of just sort of normal shots, which, again, okay. The editing, however, and, and the pacing is perfect. You know, jokes are thrown off very quickly, dramatic moments are given time and room to breathe and to really sink in. And that's also uh, enhanced by the voice acting. Both the English and Japanese dubs have voice actors who really um, get across what needs to get across. And that's tough because these characters have to hit a lot of emotional uh, uh, range. Uh, they have a, a high uh, emotional range, wide emotional range, I, I suppose. Took a while to get there. Um, they have to have you know despair, joy, excitement, um, frustration with themselves, anger at others, 
this whole melange of, of feelings that, um, during this, this very intense competition. So the fact that these, these actors are able to get that across very effectively, even starting in episode one, is, you know, again, it impressed me a lot. Uh, and this is also supported by a beautiful soundtrack. I actually tracked down and bought the original soundtrack CDs because it's just, some of these tracks are just gorgeous, gorgeous stuff. Uh, a lot of um, lilting strings and, and, uh, and you know, horns for those really big parts. And, uh, it just, you know, instrumentation is right on for what it, for what it needs to be. And when, um, you know, it, it perfectly comp complements the emotions of the scene, which is, again, pretty darn impressive. So that's Battle of the Victory. I hope you have enjoyed this review and gotten something out of it. Um, if you want to watch it, please stop by streamsuki.com, see if it's available out there for streaming. If you want to talk about cool uh, anime like this, please stop by otakunovideo.net, where we have a forum. We talk about stuff like this. So thanks for joining us. Hope to see you there. See you next time. With blood? <laughs>